What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode here on Full of Fishing. I am your captain, uh, Andrew Full. You can always find me over on the Serious Angler Network. Today we're going to be talking about something very important to optimizing your success rate on the water, and that is marinating soft plastics. Now, when you go to marinate soft plastics, there are a lot of different scents on the market. There are good ones and there are bad ones. There are some that I really like and there are some that I don't like. Previously here on the Full of Fishing channel, we talked about my initial thoughts on a scent called Bait Fuel. Since then, I have tinkered around with it and used it quite a few ways to see what the best way to use this scent is for me and where my utmost confidence is with Bait Fuel. That being said, the first thing that I found out about Bait Fuel is you do not want to apply it to the bait right before you cast it. And that is the topic of this episode today, and that is marinating soft plastics, right? So the first thing that you want to do is grab your bait fuel once you get it in, and then you want to take your favorite soft plastic bait, and this is a largemouth bait I use a lot here in the Great Lakes Northeast when I'm targeting specifically largemouth. This is a six-inch robo worm. What you're going to want to do is you want to make sure all your baits are lying flat in the bag that is to stop them from curling. Then you would take your bait fuel, you open your pack, you take your bait fuel, and you put just enough on there to cover the top of the baits. You're going to close it up. And then the next step is you're going to take your baits and you're just going to swoosh them around. Now this is an important step because when you're swooshing your baits around, what you're doing is you're covering all of the baits to optimize the, the target of the bait fuel. So the more of the bait you get covered with the bait fuel, the better it's going to soak in the bait fuel, the better that bait is going to fish, and ultimately it is going to help you catch more bass. Um, the reason why I chose the Robo Worm for this video is it is long and you can see it really well in the package, all the bait fuel that is on there and it is marinating. Now, to digress and take a step back, I said do not apply the bait fuel to the bait right before you cast. That is because it will wash off your first cast, your second cast. You might get bit and that might work for you, but what I have found with bait fuel specifically is when I marinate my soft plastic for 24 hours, so I apply it the day before I go out, the night before, um, your bait is going to suck in the juices from the bait fuel much better and it's going to give it more of like kind of like a max scent technology it's going to be give it more disbursement over time there are other baits that have high scent consistency or they have a high salt concentration inside of them those baits after you put bait fuel on them will actually kind of change a little bit they'll still fish great but i think it makes um with the salt they become more porous therefore it opens up more pores in the bait right and then as you're fishing it it releases like almost like a timed release of the bait fuel as it comes out and that is another way to catch more bass i like the bait fuel on a more salt content bait just because i feel personally i don't know the scientific research behind it but i feel personally that when the bait absorbs the bait fuel it allows it to have more of a time release secretion in the water, therefore releasing the scent and creating a larger scent trail, therefore attracting more fish and triggering more bites. I hope these tips today when applying scent to your soft plastics and soaking them and marinating them help you catch more bass while you're on the water. If you do enjoy the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment. What are your tips and tricks with bait fuel? I'm curious. I'm always wanting to try different stuff out. So please leave them down below in the comments. And until next time, we'll see you later.